Greetings, this is Dayton from Four Hands Productions, and in my first tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hook up your AOL or AIM email account and access it through uh, Microsoft Outlook. Uh, here, I'm going to use uh, Microsoft Outlook 2003, although this works with any of the Outlook versions, I'm pretty sure and I'm going to set up an AOL account. This works exactly the same with um, AIM accounts, except you need to change one thing, and I'll show you that later. So, here's what you have to do. Okay? Uh, first, you gotta make sure you have the email account, uh, self-explanatory. Now, what you have to do is go up here into these menus and go to Tools, and then Email Accounts. This will bring up this. You will select the add a new email account option. The server type is a IMAP, so select that. Now here you have to fill in all these fields, so I will do some now. The username is the first part of your email account. Uh, it fills in for you, at least on mine, I'm not sure about yours, but in case it doesn't, that's what it is. Uh, if you have AIM, uh, it's going to be your screen name as well. The password is the password you use when creating the account. Now for the server information, uh, for the incoming mail server, you're going to use, uh, use IMAP dot aol dot com this oops this is for aol if you're using aim what you're going to do is instead of aol you're going to do aim like so but mine's an aol account that we're saying up here so let's use that now for outgoing you're going to use smap or smap or something like that uh, same thing as above. This is going to be if you're using the AOL. I mean AIM. My bad. Uh, they'll change that. Now here's the important part. This will. This is what will work to um, get like have incoming mail. But to do outcoming mail, you have to change another setting. Uh, really quick. Uh, change the name of your folder. Uh, if you have multiple accounts, which is why I use Outlook, among other reasons, um, this will change it because if you have multiple accounts using IMAP, they will have the same. They will have the same name. So, Four Hands Productions. Okay, we got that. Now, outgoing server. You're gonna check the my outgoing server requires authentication. Uh, and you want to use same settings as incoming mail server. Now here in advanced, this is the important part. So listen up, okay? This number here, 25, is wrong. It will not work. You will not be able to send emails by using that. What you have to do is change this number to 587. All right. So incoming is fine as it is. 143. And outgoing is 587, 587. All right, click OK. Uh, oops, I already had this installed. Well, okay, so I'll change that name real quick. So next, all right, now I have this. So this is the account I had just created. Uh, this is actually these two are the same account, so you can have the same account and the same. I look, which doesn't make sense, but all right. Um, and here are a couple of emails. If you get any emails at all, it means it's working. All right. So that's the tutorial. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, as long as you just follow all the steps I showed you, it should work. Um, good luck and comment, rate, and possibly subscribe. That'd be great. Um, 
any questions or uh, important messages like something doesn't work, uh, shoot me an email at uh, stegander, S-T-E-G-A-N-D-R, at A-I-M dot com. I'll put that in the description. I'll also put all this in text, everything I just did in text in the description. Thank you for watching, and have a good day, night, morning, whatever you're having.